Palace and Chinese Laundry. How may I help you? Thank you. I'm sure that's very funny. But I could be someone important. I could be calling about work. Is he there? Coming! Here he comes. Here he is, taking his time. Oh, my God. The subterfuge of it all. Hi, I'm sorry I was outside. It's just a quick call, but I was just wondering about Christmas. I know. That's the job. Sorry. Tell think about it, though? her. Please come home. Tell her. It's been such a long time. Say I'd something. Love to do see it. You. Come on, bitch. Do it. Come on. Ah! Reggie! It's late. Nearly half past seven. Still trying to make it through. Shake. Tell him God blesses his soul. Charity from downstairs says God blesses your soul. <laughs> I feel better already. <laughs> oh my god! Ollie! He's such a beautiful boy. What? It stands for Angels in Disguise. They are preparing the way for his eternal life. He's very lucky. Yeah. That's, uh... Well, Dr. Sullivan... Roscoe, I love you! Jill wants to say hello. Jill Baxter. She's here. Hello, Paul. Hello, sweetheart. Which one of you? All of the people Jill, that we could have had. Friend with Richie. All the gay people we could have grown no. up knowing. It's okay. So it's many of them just succumbed to this. It's about time. <laughs> I want to say that it's about time. All that back and forth and jumping I'd around with these late. two. Could the chemo help? Yes. Yes, it could. Well, there we are. But we're saying the chemo could make you feel even worse. Then let's find out. I'm not going to not have treatment, am I? Now shut up and wheel it in. Oh, oh my God, you're impossible. <laughs> you two are murderers and I'm going to call the police. <laughs> oh, he knows that. Oh, here comes trouble. C'est moi. Merci, madame. <laughs> it it's again? French. Oh. Boy, it's like Asterix the Gaul, that boy. Indomitable. He's sitting up, he's had some food. Actually, I thought I'd pop in and see Paul. Is that OK? Oh, yeah, he's OK. He's rallying. We're having a good day. If you've come here to convert these people, I will have you thrown out onto the street. I swear. That man, Reggie Lessibs, he's from the church. He asked for me and I came. Locked away with no medicines. These doors were locked and the people behind them were like animals. I said, who are they? And they said, they are the devils. We let them die. People with that disease. Don't thank God. I just got lucky with who I fucked. Ha! It is the hardest challenge the Lord gives us. To forgive. I don't want your forgiveness. No. I mean... Can you forgive me? He's actually... Do you know who I keep thinking be about? Be decent. It's because he's the only boy whose name you can remember. Uh, uh, <laughs> you cheeky bastard. Say what you Did you think. lie, though? Did you lie? Do you think I infected him? I wasn't saying that. Because I did. With others, I stopped a million times. I stopped with you, but there were nights with too much booze. 
actually nice when I was stone cold sober and if a boy just looked at me in the right way, I wonder how many I killed. Say that. I knew it was wrong and I kept on doing it. I would At say... Last. Honestly, I would say that in this era, even though right now they're at the tail edge where it's finally being understood, the horrible and like incredibly base medications were available for it and all that, but they were still at that sort of cusp where it was such a mixed message and everything that I'd find it more forgivable, even though he knew and all that, but by that same level, if it was someone more today where, you know, there is really no reason to go fucking people if you're detectable, if you're untested, if you're any of those things. So, like, what could be forgivable then is, like, far less unforgivable now, I would say. Did I phrase that right? Oh, no. oh my God, what's wrong with you? He says infectious diseases. What the hell is that supposed to mean? God's sake, Richard, what, what is it? What's happened? Still, what, as it told him. What are you doing here? Did Jill do this? Surprise. We, we turned up and then your neighbour, that woman downstairs, she said you were here. Oh, she would. Tell oh, her. What, what's wrong? He's got some infections and problems with his gut and his lungs. And right now, there's a lymphoma in his chest. A lymphoma? I've got AIDS. I'm gay. I'm homosexual. I contracted HIV and I'm sorry, but now it's AIDS. Finally! I will scour it out of you. Okay? It doesn't work like that! You really are very young. All of you. We should see your faces. I'm Richie's boyfriend. Well, no, not really. Well, I'm not not. I know, but not now. No, but that's who I am. Ash, just shut up, yeah? It's not the right time. You could hear yourself. Yeah. You sound absurd. Well, it's infectious, isn't it, AIDS? It's completely infectious. It's, it's like smallpox. It's like leprosy no. and it kills you. That's what it does. Uh, I take back the nice things I said about Bob. You've never but Richie's got all sorts of different conditions. My He's an adult. And you don't phone me. That's not our decision. My son is in that room with with cancer and AIDS and and he's got what did she say? She says he's got something wrong with his gut. But we aren't good for his health at all. Uh the way you're acting right now. Uh I'm afraid uh, that's up to Richie. <laughs> the way you're acting right now, you are kind of proving the point! Him, him, him. Oh boy. Okay, can I give back the nice things I said about her, or will I, I be receiving them completely? Yes, I, I don't should. Know. There's a little sort of kitchen down here. They've got a room for families, but there's someone in there. Okay. Boys are terrible, Jill. Oh, uh, we they understand that. They do anything. They are rowdy. They just are. Rutting. Once in a while. Once in a while. But that doesn't make him homosexual. It's a little bit of fun. But then, you grow up. Uh, I suppose, I don't know, maybe some boys are like that. Then there's Richie, who's gay. I'm sorry, but look at him. I mean, he's an actor. He sings songs from the music. <laughs> Play the stereotypes, but also still, it is just... And now he's got a gay disease. It's not a gay disease. They literally had to talk um, already Gosh. before on the BBC about, you know, any one bad woman could get it. I'm sorry. Come on, Jill, you should have stood up there. Didn't know Richie was gay. <laughs> Jill, did you see that charity thing? Cancelled, little bloody idiot. Pardon me for implying, let me make it clear. What the hell were you looking at? I beg your pardon. If you didn't know he was gay all those years, what did you see? When he was 11, when he was 15, 16, what were you looking at? You, his mother. You're supposed to think about him day and night. So what the fuck were you I doing? love you. I love you. How dare you. Get the door. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Like to. 
All right, sweetheart, I'm done. My house, time after time after time, with this this great big elaborate lie. The great big elaborate lie, but she said, simpering, laughing at every word he said. Because they're and friends. I'm the one who's deceived. Running round after these boys with Okay, yeah, uh, uh, I received any nice thing I said about, I said about his mother. Be about you. Because you stood in the way. You stood in the way. If I couldn't see him, it's because you stood in the way. She was only there since she was 18. Big bitch. You're dying. For God's sake, is that supposed to help? There's no cure, Father. That's what they say. That's what those queers and those women and their doctors all say because they all do and they say and they think the same things. They all worship the same rubbish. Now you, you stop it, stop it, stop it! God, I hate her so much. Never know until something actually... I don't want you coming in here. This is private. No. Is it in your spit? No one really knows. <laughs> it's not. If it is, it's in like the most minuscule amounts. Just... Not to me. Oh. Okay, she could have back 10% of the nice things I said. I'm gonna take you home. And I can make you better. No, you can't. Uh, okay, uh, <clears throat> I have a problem here, like... Your brother like, bought me a copy of this. You literally, remember? taking Show it to the Isle of Wight is gonna be the worst thing. He should be... I would remind you that you had an awful lot of time with I him. take back and the I 10%. Didn't. I'll tell him you called. Thank you, bye-bye. Oh, I take back crying. the 10%. And she owes me a debit of an extra Reading 20%. Down, but I'm rubbish. I can't do all the voices. I saw a mouse there on the stand. You'd be a lot luckier if he was in a proper hospital. For that Japanese cartoon, I guess that sort of thing is repeated for at least five or six years. Which amounts to 700 pounds, minus my 10%. Oh, oh! You have this. As an advance. Oh. What for? Minus her 10%. To the Isle of Wight. Just move there properly for as long as it takes. I should get you a couple of rooms in a nice little B&B. &B. The house and driving back? No, I, I wasn't thinking of a rescue. Good. You're going there for one reason, and that's to say goodbye. Because this only ends one way. No, but he was ill last July, and then he got better. And one day he won't. I'm sorry, darling, but that is an absolute fact. So take the money and fly. Listen, I gotta go. If there's any money left, I'll have it. Uh, uh, Good luck. Now with yourself, we can come. Are you saying I can't cope? Could you be any more of a bitch? Are, and I will phone every day until he's ready, okay? Lots of love. <laughs> So, Dr. Claire said if we can reduce the phenotonin, then, well, that's one less pill, and that's got to be good. Uh, no! What's fun? <laughs> <laughs> I had all those boys. I had hundreds of them. Oh, Richie, don't talk like that. And you know what? I can remember every single one of them. Some boy's hair or his lips. The way he laughed at a joke. <laughs> his bedroom. Seeing him across the club six years later and thinking, Oh, that's him. And he's with someone. And he looks happy. And I think, oh, that's nice. Because they were great. Some of them are bastards. But they were all great. Do you understand what I mean? No. That's why I need to see Jill. Thank you!
He said he wanted to see you, so here I am. I should apologise, really. Yeah. I haven't handled this very well. I really you don't have say. Now. Made things very difficult. Okay. And I'm sorry. Made things very. Oh, but fuck all you. What I want to do is see him and say hello and give him my love. He died yesterday. Yesterday afternoon. Was advanced yesterday. They said it was his heart. Pressure from the lymphoma. No pain, they said before you start. Oh, uh, yeah, it? sure, uh huh. I really did get this wrong. Too little, too late. And I'm sorry about that. Yeah, well, fuck you. No, it, it might be nice if we found that cafe. It might be nice if you jumped off this bridge into the water. There's so much I want to ask. Were you there at the end? Oh, I'd gone downstairs. He was on his own. Yes. There was no one with him. That's not my fault. Yes, it is. Actually, it is your fault. You had someone Mrs. in Stover. the terrier, begging day oh, after day. It's your fault. Well, thank you very much. That house, so loveless. But that's why Richie grew up so ashamed of himself. Yes! I think we're finished. No, you're finished when she says you're finished. And then he killed people. It's my fault. Because the sex that I love is killing me. I mean, it's astonishing. The perfect virus came along to prove you right. So that's what happened. In your house. I'll die. Because of you. Well done, Jill. Fucking done. I didn't know. And even today, there's still parents who want to put their kids into conversion, torture camps, who are hating them, who are disowning them, breeding this kind of shame that breeds, like she said, like that. It makes everything twisted. They don't want to get tested. They don't want to take precautions. They don't do the things that they should, and it's horrible. Even when we're so far away removed from the AIDS crisis, even when things are so much better, there's still people that go through this shit because of parents like that, because of a society like that, because of people like that in their lives, making them feel like something's wrong with them and that they don't deserve to be out, to be who they are. Does Roscoe get his family back? Jill is literally the greatest wow. person ever. I might ever. just sit here for a bit, if you don't mind. She deserves the universe and more. The cunning of her passion invites me in this churlish messenger. None of my lord's ring. Why, he sent her none. I am the man. <laughs> <laughs> if it be so, as it is, <laughs> lady. She were better love. A dream.
Why is my heater running right now? I am so sorry, guys. You're probably getting a lot of sound out of that, but I, I do love how it ended right there because that's the proper message. Like, so many times it's like AIDS and HIV are the hospital seeds, the sores, the immune system, that every single disease possible happening at once, the suffering, the person at their lowest and their worst. But that's as true as it may be, it's bullshit. That's a terrible thing to do to someone just because they had AIDS. Remember them for all the happiness, for the good things, for who they were as people. That's what really needs to happen. And that's what so many of us lost as like just growing up gay after this. Because outside of everything, like there was a shitty relationship with my uncle and the rest of his family on my mom's side because he did bad things. He did shitty things and he was sometimes just not a good person, but I never knew he was gay. I never knew I had a gay uncle. I... I just knew that he was separate from the family and that he died. I didn't know he died. I didn't know he died from... I never knew he had a boyfriend who lived with him. And... That there's just... There are so many people who never get to know anything about their family because of this, that uncles and nephews and cousins and grandparents and parents just blacked out from their family because of How many role models did we lose? How many wonderful people could have supported the gay kids that had to come out in the 90s, in the early 2000s? The ones who were just discovering themselves. <laughs> How different could it have been? I will never have an answer that we will never. And yes, there are things that are so much better now and that is wonderful and it should be celebrated, but there are still also so many things we have yet to do, so many things that need to be improved because I see fucking 16 year olds and some of them are out fully some of them are just out to their friends and such and like I talked to I literally know one of them who has been threatened who was almost kicked out of a sport he loves and adores who has to deal with so much because his parents don't want to accept that and I worry about him all the time because I see him doing things that a 15 year old a 16 year old shouldn't be doing and what can I do I can tell him that I've been where he's been and it just doesn't work I can say these things but what I can't 
I'm watching it. I can't protect him. I can't give him the things he asks for because that's just not right, not good. Do you know how hard it is to live through something shitty like being closeted, like being scared of being yourself for so long? And when so many things are better, you see someone growing up experiencing the same thing. We have to do better. We have to... I can't. I can't keep going on about this. This show was fantastic. It hit in so many fucking ways. And this absolutely needs to be the kind of thing we need to show, the kind of thing we need to talk about, the kind of... It was just... It was a beautiful show. Ollie Alexander did a fantastic job playing Richie, and everyone in this cast did fantastic, but... Honestly, I can't. Alright, if you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe. Um, I will see you guys in the next one. And of course, remember, life always gets better as long as you work in it brick by brick. And please watch this show in full. Show it to people you know. And show it to people that need to hear that message. Whether it's terrible parents, whether it's the kids who are too scared and who are too reckless because of how scared they are. Because this still happens and it should never happen again. And any step anyone can take to make sure that it doesn't happen again needs to. So yeah, I'll see you guys. Bye.